I don't think there was another pod on the planet that wasn't, you know, in Cincinnati that was on the Reds as much as we were last year. We gave them every chance to be good. They just weren't good. They made the playoffs. We even got back in the playoffs. Like, they can do it. Like, this can be the team that scares everybody. And then they just got steamrolled by the Braves. I want to see these guys in a three-game set. We kept saying that. Or at least I think it was me mostly. We I all did. We were was. all like, "It can be scary." And we then, didn't and then see I, I pitching. In a I fell off because I just started being like, "Well, they suck." And then yeah, they went out with a whimper mm. last year, and they were they were probably a better team last year because they had Bauer in the starting rotation, blah blah blah. But then they come out this the start of twenty twenty one season. There's fireworks against the Cardinals. Nick Castellanos is just dropping D everywhere. Tyler Naquin's hitting the ball mm. out of the stadium. Doing it. Votto looks good. Uh, Mustakis crushing balls. Everyone's crushing balls. And then yesterday, Amir Garrett had the sound bite of the season so far. Go ahead, Jim. It's a domino effect. It's, we're gonna. Everybody's gonna feed into it. I want everybody to think that Cincinnati Reds is like the most cockiest team ever. We're some Bat flipping, showboating, son of a guns, and I want everybody to know that. I love that he's given them an identity, and it's kind of like it, it wasn't forced. Like they've been acting like bat flipping, showboating, sons of guns, and I think that is the kind of identity that this team needs. They don't really have the pitching staff. It needs Sonny Gray to come back. The bullpen's okay, but these guys, if you look at the lineup, they can go. And bang with anybody, especially in that park. And they have been doing that. If you look at the statistics right now, and look, obviously it's, what is it, five, six games in? But uh, let me get it up here. MLB team statistics, they are second in average only to the Dodgers because obviously the Dodgers are the greatest. Um, they lead in run score. They lead in um, OBP. No, they're second in OBP. They lead in slugging. And they lead in OPS. They've come out just like gangbusters and have smushed the ball. And we talk about the NL Central being a wash this year. I think a lot of us uh, picked the Cardinals and then the Brew Crew to kind of surprise. But look, it's it's going to be up and down all year. A bunch of teams vying for the throne of the NL Central. And we, maybe not with a Tatis injury, but we have said that the wild card is not coming out of there. So there's going to be one team that reigns supreme and they're going to get to the playoffs. For the Reds to do that, they're going to have to bang all season long. And I love the attitude that they're taking. I love that Amir Garrett came out and gave them an identity and they're going to roll with it. I think it's really hard to have that particular identity through 162 because it's exhausting (laughs) and you put a target on your back. But when when you need to go and you know you're probably not the best team on paper, Go ahead and give yourself the identity, and I love the I love the soundbite. I love the quote. I love all of it, and I think for the foreseeable future, they're going to ride this big dick wave that they got going on, and I'm all here for it. 